Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Daddy Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17. So we're getting very close to the final release of iOS 17 to the public, an update that I think is way, way better than many people think. And we have a lot of talk about this, but first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the latest features that Apple has added to iOS 17, which we wasn't able to mention before. Now, first of all, we're currently on beta eight, which might even be the last beta that Apple releases for iOS 17 before they move to the RC version and then the public release. Now, this is the second beta, which has a build number ending with an A, which means that, of course, this is one of the last betas, if not the last beta of iOS 17 before Apple releases the RC version. Now, the RC version is basically confirmed now. It will be released after the new iPhone event, which will happen on September 12th. After the event, you can expect the RC version to come to your device, of course, if you're currently using the beta of iOS 17. And as we talked about this before, iOS 17 will most likely come out to the public on September 18th, of course, before the new iPhone 15s start shipping to the customers, which will happen on September 22nd. And now let's talk about some of the new features that you can find on iOS 17. This is the first time I've seen this on my device. So I just visited a profile on Instagram, which has a WhatsApp contact. And it did show me this pop-up to install WhatsApp, even though I have it installed. It showed me here the button to actually update the app because I didn't have it updated to the latest version. If you don't have it installed on your device, probably it will show you the pop up here to actually install it so that you can contact that profile. And that suggestion was really, really interesting. I'm not sure this is new with the latest beta, but I've never seen this before on any other iOS 17 version. There is a new vibration here, new haptic feedback when you switch from the ring mode to the silent mode. It previously was just like one hard vibration. Now it gives you three different like vibrations, three like shorter vibrations when you switch from the ring mode to the silent mode. And that of course will probably have a lot of different patterns once Apple releases the new iPhone 15 Pro or 15, 15 Ultra, which will have the action button and most likely will have a few different patterns which you will actually get when you invoke like different actions from the new action button that Apple is adding to the new iPhone 15 Pro models. On iOS 17 with the latest betas, when you're searching for a song with Shazam, you will now find here like a new animation at the S there, the logo of Shazam, you will see a new animation, which is actually quite cool. So you can see right there we have the wave and then that animation on the Shazam logo. The music scrubbing bar is back with iOS 17 beta seven. Of course, we're currently on beta eight, but this was added on beta seven. So you can now easily scrub through a song on the Apple Music app. So you probably know about the new iMessage feature where you can tap and hold the plus button here to quickly go to your photos. Well, now it has a new animation when it pops up just like that. So even if you don't have the keyboard, if the keyboard is hidden, you will get that like new animation when you tap and hold the plus button. When you go to your keypad while on phone call, you will notice that now Apple has moved the end call button on the middle of the screen, just like they did with phone calls where it used to have the end call button right here on the right side, they moved both of them now in the middle. With the latest betas of iOS 17, Apple has also added support for native, native third-party two-factor authentication integration. So when you go to the passwords option on your settings app on iOS 17, you will have your third-party two-factor authentications app right here. Of course, you can use or select any one of them from here. Apple will now prompt you to download maps for offline using when you're visiting an area where the seller coverage is actually not that good. You will basically get here a pop up that will let you download that map offline so you don't have to worry about your seller connection. Now that we're done with some of the new features that Apple has added to iOS 17, which we missed on the previous videos, let's quickly talk about iOS 17 in general, which I think is one of the best updates that we got to iOS in the last few years. Even though it's not hyped that much, I don't think you're ready for this update and the amount of new features and changes that it brings to your device. And some of them are actually very, very underrated and are really great to have. 
one of them of course interactive home screen widgets we just got a few examples from apple when they released the first beta of ios 17 and i don't think you can imagine what devs can do with this so here we have a few examples if i go to twitter here we have a video of an app called tasks to do list and you can see right here basically you can check any of your items and you can switch between different lists all of that directly from the widget without having to open the app at all we have another app here which is currently on beta so it's basically a soundboard that allows to play any sound from the home screen this is just to give you an example of what you can actually do with the home screen interactive widgets this is a great great feature to have another thing is the new spotlight search you can have toggles here which allows you to actually perform actions directly from here one of them like right here you can see turn it off bluetooth you know you cannot do that from the control center you will just disable it not turn it off you can now do that from the spotlight search you just search for something and it saves those toggles right here which is again very very useful and the spotlight search also adds these like automatic toggles when you use like different apps at certain points of the day it will show you these toggles right here like you can see play play and pause moon fm right there showed automatically so if i just want to play that i can just go ahead and hit it right there on the spotlight search and start playing or pausing right away so these are some of the great improvements that you can expect to see on ios 17 which is of course coming out really really soon now ios 17 has recently been quite good for me a lot of the bugs that i have i have been experiencing for a lot of weeks have actually been fixed like the keyboard which was very very buggy especially on the spotlight search then the app library not showing up all the time that has been fixed as well which is really great and also wi-fi which was one of the main problems that i had with this update has actually been way more reliable lately so it's actually very good it stays connected and not just dropping like every time i just used to move a few feet away from the router it would just drop it was very very weak even though i have the same setup still it's actually much better right now another thing i'm noticing with ios 17 especially with the last couple of betas is that if you go to your iphone storage you will notice that you will have way more free space now on your iphone because the ios and the system data here the storage that it takes up on your device is less less right here so especially with system data this this used to be like 17 to 18 gigs for a lot of people it was even over 20 now it stays at around 10 to 11 which is really great that way offering you a lot more space on your iphone especially if you have a device with lower capacity so overall ios 17 is a great update and i don't think if you haven't tried the betas of ios 17 you basically don't know what you're getting into it will be a great update with a lot of improvements and great features so what's next for ios 17 where we're currently on beta 8 which is basically a polished version of ios 17 didn't bring any new features just like bug fixes and all the improvements that it needs so in the next week we might or might not get another beta which would be beta 9 but it's very unlikely maybe apple will move on to the rc version which again will be released on september 12th after the new iphone 15 event and then of course as we said on iowa on September 18th, you can expect the public release of iOS 17, where everybody will be able to update their devices to this software. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you did. Of course, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.